Hey everyone, this is Magic Lover recording for the MTG Noob. Doing something a little different right now, just uh, making a little commander prediction list for Gate Crash now that it's been fully spoiled. So, checking out a couple cards I think will have some sort of an impact on the uh, on the EDH uh, commander scene. First up, the Primordial series. I think Luminate um, and Spulkroll uh, Primordial are probably the two that'll have the biggest impact. Um, Illuminate simply because white has a lot of blink effects, so I expect you know this guy to not only be cast but to be blinked a few times and have a lot of creatures effectively sword to plow shared. And then he has a 4-7 you know, vigilance body, so not bad for 7 mana. But um, these are you know like kind of like the Titan list, but uh, oh, pause for video card reset, apologize. Sorry about that video card reset, but like I said, I expect this guy to get uh, to get blinked a lot. So don't be surprised if you see him a fair amount. Much to my chagrin, uh, Black picked up a, a very cheap and efficient enchantment, Illness in the Ranks, for one Black creature tokens get negative one, negative one. Uh, this sadly uh, gets a worth a mention for me because it kills a lot of decks that uh, that I like playing specifically uh, Gave Guru or Spores deck, so I'm going to have to put a couple of uh, Anthem style effects in there to prevent this from just preventing me from ever making tokens. But this is a very interesting um, kind of card that if you're not playing a, uh, a token based deck for one mana, you can get out any time and hose all tokens, so interesting, um, interesting solution there. Like I mentioned, I think the Primordial uh, Cycle will get the most attention from Commander. Um, Sepulchral, the black one, I believe will find its way into a lot of, uh, you know, mill-style decks like uh, Mimeoplasm and Geth. Um, those kind of decks that are going to be getting, you know, a lot of uh, cards into opponents' graveyards. So in the one-on-one -on -one scene, wouldn't expect to see him too much, but in the you know three, four, five player commander, uh, expect this guy to be running around rampant because it does have a pretty powerful effect. Moving on to green, uh, green does get another four to five converted mana cost enchantment that uh, has the potential to be very synergistic. Uh, this one, I'm sure, will go into a lot of my builds with, you know, Parallel Lives and Doubling Season and Cather's Crusade, and those kind of enchantments, since uh, Ooze Flux can, at instant speed, um, you know, remove a lot of uh, counters and put tokens onto the battlefield, which may then get their own counters and or be multiplied, so who knows? This has the potential to do some nasty things and uh, at least save tokens from creatures that are dying or create blockers or whatever, but either way this uh, has the potential to be a lot of fun, so I'm sure I'll be cramming it in a few builds and seeing how it works. Sylvan Primordial is going to be an interesting one as well of the uh, the Primordial series. Um, pretty much it's got a you know Woodfall Primus kind of effect in that you're destroying a non-keacher permanent for each player. Um, also an added little kicker you get to fetch out a forest and put that onto your battlefield, so it's got a little bit of nice ramp and thinning attached to it as well. Um, and it is a 6-8 reach for 7, so I expect this guy to be crammed in a lot of green builds, uh, as it does give you that nice, you know, Beast Within, Woodfall Primus kind of uh, effect going after, you know, non-creature permanents of your opponents, which in Commander there usually are. So, very interesting uh, uh, effect on a creature for that. We'll, we'll see how that impacts the game, I'm sure. Biovisionary gets a quick blur because I am sure as I sit here I'll be playing a game in the next couple weeks and someone will cast this and then hit it with a uh, kicked right of replication and make six of them. So even if I can kill one or two of them they're still gonna win uh, on, their, uh, on their end step. So it's a niche kind of thing but I wouldn't be surprised if we see this and a, a couple cloned effects, specifically uh, right of replication kicked for, for this to be an interesting one. So, uh, an interesting kind of unilateral play card. We'll, we'll see if it, uh, if it finds a home. Clan Defiance is a pretty interesting build. 
um, are an interesting card. I'm sorry, uh, certainly green-red can ramp out pretty quickly. And uh, an X spell that hits three different targets without dividing X, like Fireball, has the potential to uh, to blow a couple games wide open. So if your client, if your opponent has a flyer and a ground pounder, you can you know probably kill both of them, and then also throw you know a fair amount of burn to the face. So this you know has the potential to um, to blow games wide open for one card, which is uh, which is always interesting, without of course being a uh, a multifaceted effect that that affects your own stuff. So I expect to see this uh, burning creatures out left and right pretty soon. And then we move into blue-black. Here's an interesting card that I think um, deserves some tinkering to be used as a uh, as a commander, as a general. Uh, Lazav Demir Mastermind. This, I'm curious as to exactly the rules on this, but the way I'm betting it plays is that, say you mind funeral or, or some other mill effect, traumatize whatever uh, your opponent, and ten creatures go in you're going to get 10 triggers that you can stack how you want on this. So if there's a bunch of enter the battlefield style triggers, um, it, it could be interesting to see, um, you know, what, what happens on this. Because if you hit, you know, a bunch of enter the battlefields and then a good creature that you want it to stay as, you can just stack them up so you get all those triggers and then get the body of whatever creature you want. So... Um, very interesting card here for only four mana, and it's hexproof, so it's it's definitely got some legs, um, and doesn't die to just you know a, a random one or two power, uh, you know, damage spell. So I think this is interesting. I'm going to try to build something around this. Should be a fun card. And continuing the theme of interesting new legendary creatures to build around, Obsidot Ghost Council, um, five mana, five five, and the green. I'm sorry, white-black color space. Um, it just seems like this is a natural fit to build, you know, every black and white anti-creature wrath effect you can think of in there. Um, man lands, wraths, you know, you name it, and just have this keep blinking. And eventually, you know, you'll be swinging with five, them losing two, you gaining two, and can, you know, be swiping the board or sweeping the board of all their creatures. I, I think this has a, the potential to be a very interesting uh, commander, and I'm sure people will will tinker with this a fair amount. Last up is a piece of uh, equipment and artifact from the set: Illusionist Bracers. Rings of Bright Hearth was a pretty interesting card, paired really well with uh, with Planeswalkers. I'm sure someone will find something nasty in terms of a uh, activated ability for creatures to uh, to to strap this onto. Uh, sadly, it's activated, not activated or triggered, so that's good. I'm sure that would have resulted in some pretty crazy shenanigans, if not, but um, I'm sure there's activated abilities out there that people will love duplicating for free, and uh, not a relatively expensive card, you know, two to play, three to equip, findable with um, Stoneforge Mystic and, and similar effects, so I wouldn't be surprised if this um, makes its way into uh, a, a few builds that have appropriate creature abilities for copying. So, anyway, that is my uh, commander picks of what I think will produce the most interesting effects on the game, and thanks for looking.